Sunday morning greetings folks. How are we all doing? Ready to give this a bit of a blast? Who have I got today? A bit milder today isn't it? And very breezy. So it should be much more pleasant to train in if you're training indoors. If you're outdoors hopefully you've not got an umbrella up otherwise you'll be chasing that round your back garden. That could be quite entertaining so uh, if you want to film that by all means go for it. <laughs> Let's see who's with me this morning then. Oh we've got one so far, I've got two, who have I got? Let me know who you are, how we're doing and uh, whether you're up for it or whether it's just a, a leisurely Sunday morning and you'd rather be um, still in bed or are you still in bed? <laughs> what we get Technology is brilliant, isn't it? When it works. No, oh, it's not. Oh, there we go. Just about. So what's in store today, guys? Cool. Um, I'm going to give you all the option. We'll do some active recoveries, but that will be your best opportunity to take them as a full on recovery if you'd rather. So if you don't want to um, stay in a plank position, because you know, I think by now you've gathered what my favorite core related exercises, then you can drop out and take the recovery time rather than holding plank. Um, and then the good news, I think, we'll see, because I could lie to you, is that if we're holding plank as an active recovery, there might not actually be any plank work at all, if you're taking it as a full on recovery. Could be a giant great lie. Um, <laughs> I make no promises, guys, no promises. Um, but all I can guarantee you is that well, you're going to get a workout in and that's pretty much what you came for isn't it i hope if you are talking to me i do apologize my technology is just not playing ball at the moment all we really need to know though is i've got a stop clock and that does work um because you don't really want to be doing any more than 30 minutes i presume what do we reckon i'm just about to find out oh here we go right seven people that's good that makes me happy just catching up with you all guys, hey. So, oh, so Sarah's just popped by to say hi. I know, busy, busy. Oh, we've got Andy's in as well. And we've got Emma and Wendy. You've only just got up, never mind. Get yourself a cup of coffee then. Um, and yeah, get cracking on with it later. Um, who else is with me? We've got another minute and then we'll get going, guys. Exciting times. <laughs> <laughs> if you like core, cool. if you don't like core, cool, not so exciting maybe, um, but all good, all good. Got us a playlist, bit of tunes, if you want to sing whilst you're doing your crunches, by all means go for it. Oh, Nat's in the house. One minute and then we'll get going. So my second favourite move, which you've probably figured out by now, is the military style sit up. I'm liking that one as well. Here we go, 45, we're starting. Right, I'm gonna press play on my music. Sophie's a good one. Oh, that's not what I chose. This is what we're getting now though, guys. That's not the place. Oh well, play with it. Loud enough? We're not gonna do it to music this week, guys, so don't panic. <laughs> You're thinking, oh, we did that last week, don't worry. No one's in the house. So, we're gonna start off, arms crossed, take the lie down, we're gonna do some nice, steady crunches. Now we're going to work on a 45 second, 15 second format to begin with. And all that means is 45 seconds in the move that I'm setting you up with. And you can either take a 15 second recovery or you can roll over into plank and hold that for the 15 seconds. You'll get a bit of option. If you want to do every other round of those 15 seconds of full on recovery or an active recovery, you. So chin to chest, arms across, so I'm not going to use any momentum to get myself up. I'm using full on core. Right, we've got five seconds, then you get to choose. I'm going to roll over, I'm going to hold high plank for 15 seconds. You decide, guys. This is your opportunity to do absolutely nothing if you don't want to. I'll keep it as well, nice one, Keith. Right, in five seconds, we're going to turn over. We're going to go into sit up with your hands overhead. So straight in. So hands up, reach up through the fingertips on your way up. Again, we're not using our arms 
to draw ourselves up because they're directly overhead. Full on sit up section to begin with, guys. Reaching height, doing the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Get the most out of that crunch at the top. Feet are staying there. You got another 15 seconds and then you get to make that choice again. The plank is just an active recovery. You can take it to make sure you have a nice long straight back. You ready? We're flipping over. So I'm flipping over into high plank. You guys decide what are you doing? Chilling or planking? Right, in five seconds time, we're going to change it into little pulses. So pulse crunches. Ready? I'm flipping back over. So reaching through my fingertips, chin to chest, and I'm driving towards my toes. Staying with my shoulders off the floor, and I'm going to get the most out of that crunch to squeeze. So we're really going to blast those cores by getting the most out of this section here. So really make the most of that sit up crunch. 15 seconds, then team, you get that decision again. Who's blanking? Who's just lying down on the floor? You've got five seconds and then decide. Three, two, one. Here's me high plank. So, next round, we're gonna go soles of our feet together and we're gonna do sit-ups with our hip flexors open. Again, try not to use your arms to throw you up. So lie down, feet together, touch your hands overhead and then reach past your toes. Touch your hands overhead and reach past your toes. So because the feet are nice and wide, oh my life, and your hip flexors are open, you're really having to use more core strength to get you up. And you're not driving through your feet either. So you're not able to, not cheat, because it's not cheating, but you're really having to use that core. Right, you've got 10 seconds, and then you guess what? You've got another plank move. Is that the Ready? Flip over or hold the recovery team. Right, in 10 seconds, what we're going to do, feet go down the ground, we've got our standard sit-up, but we're going to twist at the top. So we're going to sit up and twist to the right, and then lie down and sit up and twist to the left. Take a lie down. So sit up, turn, lie down, sit up, turn the other way, and lie down. Getting our obliques firing now. Can you feel that? It's starting to bite now because we've hit in the same oh, muscle over and over again with similar movements in the first block. We're just adding the rotation. Just to add a little bit more fun, right? <laughs> Come on, you've got 10 seconds and you get to choose. Right, turn over or recover, 15 seconds. Now, next round, what you're gonna do is a C-crunch touchdown. So you're just gonna bring your chest up, bring your knees into your chest, and tap down with your toes. If you're not sure, you can take a look. Ready? So, what are you gonna do? Crunch up, touch down. So crunch up, touch down. Chin to chest, and bring those knees in to meet your elbows. Your option is just to stand the same, just standard crunch. So just a standard crunch if you don't want to bring your knees in towards your chest. And try your hardest to really squeeze to lift your shoulders off the floor. You've got 15 seconds, boys. And then again, you get to choose. Are you active with your recovery or are you taking a full-on chill? Right. Flip or recover? You choose. Right, what do we do with that next then? We're going to turn it into a full blown C crunch extension. So if you're not sure, then stay as you were. Or if you feel like it, you're going to take your legs away from your body and your hands overhead. Ready? Go. So we crunch in and then we extend out. Nice long lines. 
Now your option is to tap your feet down at the bottom if you want to take a little bit of the leverage and the weight and load out of your core or if you want to really fight it, try not to let those feet touch down. Oh, that's vile. Well, we've got 10 seconds, guys. And then, again, you get that choice. That choice isn't seeming all that brilliant. All right, that is it. Flip over. Woo! Good news, though, we're seven minutes in. Right, this time what we're going to do, we're going to start to work out our obliques. So we're going to lie on our side next time and go for a side C crunch extension. Ready? Go. So you're going to crunch in and then extend out. Remember, we're not using this arm to help lift us up. Your option is to keep the one, the lower leg on the floor and just crunch the top leg towards you. And you can always bring your elbow in if you want to. I'm reaching for my toes just to give me that little extra pinch out of it. Come on, you've got this. Oh, it's warming up in here. You've got 15 seconds. Where you should be feeling it here, right down the side, so your obliques. Getting that nice cut in into the waist. Right, hold the plank. I'm going to hold it in the opposite side so I can crunch on the other side when we go back to crunching. So you've got your plank hold or your full on recovery. You might figure that if we continue through this, Ready? Side crunch extensions, opposite side. That those of you who are taking the active recovery, you're going to be working core for the full 30 minutes. If you're taking the rest in between, that's perfectly fine, guys, because your abs, they will need a little bit of time to relax. So you just got to do what works best for you. Stay challenged. You've got 20 seconds. And then we're going to hold the plank again. Oh, I like this one. Ten seconds. No flowers. No trying to be a better Right, hold plank. Fifteen. I'm going back to this side. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do next? We're going to do some penguins. So we're going to lie down, shoulders off the floor, and we're going to twist side to side as we reach through our fingertips, through our heels. Go. So reach in through your fingertips, tuck your chin to chest, and keep your shoulders off the floor at all times. Get as much twist as you can to really fire those obliques. And they may a little bit be pre-exhausted by the last move we've done on both sides. That's the plan anyway. We've got 20 seconds, and then we've got that plank hold coming next. Are we having fun, guys? <laughs> Joke about mushrooms there, if we really want one. I'll leave that for you, though. <laughs> Five seconds. Four, three, two. I'm going to plank. You choose. Now, we know what my favourite moves are. Do you know what my least favourite move is? It's a Russian twist. So guess what we're going to do now? Russian twist. So get the twist through the torso. Feet off the floor is one option, or feet down is the other option, but make sure you're sitting back into it. Don't stay too high. Because oh, you don't want to get yourself off the hook. I can really feel that. Twist and look for the shoulder of the side you're twisting to. It's going to give you more rotation through that torso and get deeper into those obliques. You see why I hate it? Because it takes my breath away. You've got 10 seconds, team. And then we're going to plank or recover. Three, two, one. Hold that plank position or recover. Now guys, if you are recovering, that's fine, but we're gonna hold plank, high plank for 45 seconds as your next move. So hold it now. If you're taking the recovery, your 45 seconds of work is just beginning. So 
So get into that high plank position. You've got a nice straight line running from top of your head all the way down the spine towards your heels. So if you need it, drop your knees to the floor. Make sure your knees stay under your hips and your hands directly under your shoulders. So you've got a really strong position. Now, <laughs> if you're taking the recovery, we've got 15 seconds before we either shake it out or we stay in the plank position for our active recovery. Sounds like a good idea at the time. Not so much anymore. Right, so you've got 15 seconds, you choose. Either drop out and recover for 15, or this is your active recovery now. What we're going to do next is we're going to go into a side plank hold. So get ready to drop to one elbow, and either stack, split, or drop a knee. So you choose. I've got split, I'm on my elbow, which again directly stacked under my shoulders. My hips are facing forward. You can put your hands to the ceiling if you want to. Put it on wherever is comfortable for you. And make sure you don't let that hip drop below the spine line, okay? You want a nice straight line. There's that one. I thought we'd hit everything today, why not? Why not? You've got 15 seconds, and then again, you've got your option to either bail for 15 or plank hold for 15. 10 seconds, team. I'm going to face the other way in five seconds and hold plank. You ready? Okay, so you get to choose. Hold plank or recover for 15, and then you're going to hold side plank on the other side for the next 45. Right, you've got three seconds. Two, one, hold that side plank. You might have a, a stronger side than the other, so you might find that the one that you've just done, you're a little bit wobbly, but this one's a little bit stronger. Everyone's different. Depends on whether you've gone from your dominant side to your weak side or vice versa. I'm shaking. Oh, this isn't my strong side. Remember, don't let that hip drop. Hips stay square to the front, so don't let them tilt towards the floor or tilt towards the ceiling. You want to keep them nice and straight and taut in the torso and the tummy. I like that word, stomach. Right, you've got five seconds, then you're going to plank or recover. Three, two, one, I'm changing sides. So, how many of you are planking? How many of you are chilling? Or are you alternating? What's the plan, team? Right, the next move we're going to do, we're going to sit up and punch. Get ready, feet down, you're going to sit up, punch, and then lie down. So sit up, throw alternating sides first. So I'll sit up, I'm going left, right, lie down, and I'm going to sit up and go right, left. But I'm not using my arms to throw me up. And I'm also controlling the lying down. So I'm not just throwing myself around, I'm throwing the punches, but I'm not throwing my body up and letting it drop. 15 seconds. Sorry, my eye. There's that one. Fire, right? Right, you choose 15 seconds. Blank or chill. And we're halfway, guys. 15 minutes. Done. 15 to go. We're going to try and do 30 different moves and try my best. Right, you ready? Reverse curl extension. So you've got a reverse curl extension or just the reverse curl where you lift keep your knees to 90 rather than driving towards the ceiling. Now your hands aren't there to push off the floor. We're using our lower abdominals. So brace it. You can relax your head to the floor, but don't bridge off your neck. You shouldn't be coming to that far. So just your lower back and your butt off the floor. How's that one? Oh, don't like that. Right, you've got 10 seconds. And then again, Plank or chill in three, two, one. Plank or chill. Right, in 10 seconds you're gonna lie down again. We're gonna go for leg extension. So we're gonna lift them and then lower them. Try not to touch them down on the floor. So you lie there, so literally lift 
You can pick your butt off the floor a fraction if you want to. But again, don't let them swing. We're controlling these movements. Option is to bend your knees to 90. So you're taking a little bit of the load out of the core and the length out of the legs. And that's gonna make it a little less taxing, but still allow you to work. 15 seconds, guys. Come on, you got this. Five, four, three, two, hold plank or chill out. Get in there. Each move we do, getting closer to the end. Right, next one we're going to go for scissors. So we're going to alternate. Ready? Go. So lie there. Scissors, nice and long. Option is to keep your shoulders off the floor. If you want to add a little bit more of upper core engagement, and as well as keep working the lower. Bend your knees to 90 if you want to. Again, just taking the length out of those levers and putting less demand on the core. You've got to do what you've got to do to keep in the game. Again, option, you can always rest your shoulders down to the ground. You've got 15 seconds. Oh my life. Five seconds. Three, two, one, flip over. We are flying today, guys, flying. Super impressed by you all. Right, five seconds, we're gonna roll back over again. And then what we'll do is we'll do bicycles, which I hate almost as much as I hate motion twists. But hey-ho. Come on, you got this. We've got 25 seconds and then plank it next. Or oh, recover. It's like a new catchphrase. Plank or chill. Oh, that's proper getting me. Five, four, three, two, or recover. Plank or chill. Right. You're going to take the plank position, again, if you're chilling right now, then what you can do is in five seconds you're going to come into a plank hold. We're going to go for our slow diagonal mountain climbers. We're going to go for triple knees though, you ready? Go. So you're going to go three, two, one, and we're changing. Aim knee to opposite elbow, opposite elbow. Again, hitting those obliques. And they're loving that after doing it. Oh, bicycles, not. How are we getting our team? Are you still hanging on in there? 15 seconds, and then again, you get to choose whether you take your 15 seconds as a chill out, or your 15 seconds as a plank. Right. Team, you choose. It's your 15 second choice now. Plank or chill. And then we're going to roll onto our backs. And we're going to do windscreen wipers. So we're going to sit in a half sit up position. And we're just going to lift and lower our legs in like a semi circle. Ready? Go. So literally, feet go up and over as if you're avoiding something. Again. Try not to touch these feet down, but if you need to, take a touch down, take the load out of the body, and then reset. Oh my life. We're getting close now though, guys. 15 seconds, and then choice time. Four. Five. Four. Three, two, plank or chill. How about that? We're at 21 minutes now, guys. Nine minutes remaining. Can I think of nine different core moves to make sure we do something different every round? There's a choice. Right, on your back, half sit-ups. 
So not all the way up, not a crunch, but a half sit up. So shoulders off the floor to halfway, lower yourself down. We got this guys, we got this. Come on, chin to chest, don't drag yourself up by your head now. I know it's brutal. No, pump it up. Don't you know, pump it up. Right, we've got five seconds, and then you choose. Flip over, hold plank, or chill. Now, if you're chilling, you've got 10 seconds, and you're going to hold the plank position for us. You're going to take your feet wide, and then we've got a section of salutes coming your way. Take your feet wide, and then slow controlled movements. Take the opposite shoulder. So we lift the hand, opposite shoulder, slow taps. This is not about speed, guys. What we're looking for is no rotation through your body. So your hips should stay facing the ground, and you shouldn't twist. So bracing tight. There's a slight change of weight from opposite to opposite, and that's what you should feel loading wise, but you should try not to twist. How are we doing? Right, hold plank or recover. Take your feet back underneath you. Taken from being wide back to narrow. Again, if you've dropped out, that's fine. You're going to come back. We're going to go for slow mountain climbers to the centre. So single mountain climbers now. Down the centre. Down the centre. I'm trying to avoid V sits because I hate V sits. <laughs> but I'm going to have to pull them out at some point. Come on, you got this. 20 seconds, and then again, you get to choose whether you drop for 15 or you maintain the plank for 15. Five seconds, team. Right, hold plank or drop out. We're going to have to bring the feet sits in. Sorry. So, in 10 seconds, you're going to lie on your back feet towards the sky and we're going to reach up towards our toes in three two roll feet up so i'm going to reach up your option if you really want to go for it is to stay up and pulse oh, everything's shaking there you got to pump it up you got to pump it up Come on, guys. Right, 15 seconds, then again. Decisions, decisions. Oh, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Right, hold that plank or chill out. What are you doing? We've got five minutes, five moves. I'm thinking hard now. Right, next one you're going to do, side tap out, sky decline. So, into plank position, you're going to go wide, forward, wide, back, change. Wide, forward, wide, back, change. So, plank, spider climbers. Probably got another name, but that'll do for me for now. Your option is to drop to your elbows, or your option is to drop to your knees and just hold a standard plank. How are we doing guys? You've got 15 seconds and then you're going to get to chill or maintain the plank position. Brace everything. So hold plank or chill out, you've got 15 seconds. We're going to flip onto our backs, we've got a triple crunch and then a lie down. Five seconds, oh it's all starting to shake. Three, two, so you're gonna go three, two, 
one, then tap down. Three, two, one. Let's bring the triple here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Twenty-five seconds, and then the plank is coming back. Come on, guys! If you can, I know you've been going for twenty-seven minutes almost, almost. Right, flip over or chill. So we've not done a low plank yet, have we? So I'm going to use the next one as an opportunity to do low plank. Ready? Drop in. So if you've rested, you come straight into low plank. So this time we're stacking on our elbows. Again, keep them underneath your shoulders. You've got a nice flat back, back on your toes. Brace everything. Option is to drop to your knees at any given point. Along, folks. <laughs> we'll be, we'll be stars. You got 15 seconds, and again, active recovery or chill. I'm going to take my active recovery back into high plank in 10 seconds, and then we've only got two minutes to go. Flying. Right, you ready? I'm going to take my active recovery high plank or chill for 15. Uh, right, we're going to go for side plank rotation. So I'm going to go onto my elbows, and all I'm going to do is straight in. So I'm going to go from one side and extend up, and I'm going to turn my back on you. Sorry, guys, and extend up. Keep everything in line. Option is to drop to your knees at any point. Doesn't have to be quick, guys. Has to be controlled. If it's too quick, you'll probably end up. Roll over. We don't want that. Five seconds, and I'm going to go back into my high plank. You choose, guys. You've got 15 seconds to recover or high plank to finish. Right, we're going to go for a sit-up, but a three-degree sit-up. So we're going to go low, mid, and high with a pulse. Ready? Lie down. So check it out. We're going to pulse low, pulse mid, pulse high, touch down. Pulse low, pulse mid, pulse high, touch down. You got it. And then you'll only have a 15-second plank hold, and then that's 30 moves in 30 minutes. <sighs> oh, come on, get the most out of those crunches. You should be able to get a little bit higher as you reach higher. Oh. Five, four, three, two, hold the plank, final 15, and then we are done. Five seconds, guys, and it's over. How about that for a Sunday morning? Three, two, chill out. 30 minutes. If you've taken a recovery, it's awesome. If you do try and repeat it again, then try maybe and stagger it. Every other, take a 15 second recovery and a 15 second active recovery. If you've gone non stop for the 30 minutes, well done, okay? Just about challenging yourself and pushing yourself outside your comfort zone. So when it starts to get tough, that's the best part. It may not feel it, but that's where the results are going to start to happen. Guys, be thoroughly impressed and happy with what you just achieved this morning. I'm well impressed with you. As always, any feedback, positive, negative or indifferent, pop your comments in at the bottom. I will say happy Sunday. Enjoy the breeze and a little bit of sunshine. And I'll check in with you soon. Have a good one.